sailing canoe as a class traces its history back to the uh, late 19th century and the uh, outdoors movement uh, that was operating in England and the United States. Industrial mercantile middle class was uh, really working in the notion that uh, it was leisure time. John McGregor and uh, Warren Baden-Powell, brother of the founder of the Boy Scouts, were the uh, leading characters in, in England, the United States, uh, uh, Rushton, and others. Uh, and the sport actually started uh, as an international competition or meet between English and American uh, late 19th century. The class really became international in the 1930s when uh, the English and Americans wrote a new, a new international rule for development of canoes under one, one set of rules. That's carried on more or less till the present day. Um, more nations coming, some nations going, but uh, the boats have more or less continuously developed since the, uh, since the 1930s under uh, a rule that says the canoes are about uh, 5.2 meters long, uh, about a meter wide, and uh, have uh, 10 square meters of sail. Now the differences with these, they are actually canoes. They're 750 mil wide at the widest point, generally 5.2 meters long. The thing that makes these unique is they have a sliding seat, also known as a plank in Australia, which just slides out and allows the skipper to hike when he's in a really stiff wind. And these guys really, really fly. You've got your tiller extension for steering. Because they're not as wide as normal boats, they're very hard to control, and you need to be a very unique breed of person to be able to control them. Very experienced sailors sail these, so we're gonna catch a bit of the action. 